We know that there are four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. And most calendars are printed with the dates that those seasons begin. But isn't it interesting that even the seasons that we know are coming are still very unpredictable. Even though the calendar says that spring begins on March 20th, how often does the weather actually play along? Each sport has a season, as do most fruits and vegetables, and we're all familiar with cold and flu season. And now we have a COVID-19 season. We have no idea when it began, and we certainly have no idea when it will end. So just like winter, spring, summer, and fall, add this to the list of things that we just can't predict. I have this tendency to want to flash forward, and I know that it's just speculation, but I wonder what things will look like a year from now or five years from now. What will we remember about this season? I have a four-year-old grandson, and I doubt he's going to remember much of what's happening right now. What do you remember from when you were four years old? But what am I going to tell him someday about what things were like during this incredibly strange time. Right now, I don't know. We can have a great desire to want to understand all of this, to make sense of it all, but we also have to acknowledge our great inability to do so. I love that the scriptures have a great deal to say about seasons. For everything, there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to grieve and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to turn away, a time to search and a time to quit searching, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be quiet and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. One way to have peace with God is to accept and appreciate His perfect timing. The danger is to doubt or resent it. A little further down in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, it says, He has planted eternity in the human heart. Now to me, that means that we're never going to be satisfied with earthly pleasures or pursuits. We are made in the image of God. That means that we have a spiritual thirst that only He can quench. And that means that we have eternal value that goes far beyond anything that we will ever experience here on this earth. God has built in us a restless yearning for His perfect world, but that can only be found under His perfect rule. He has given us a glimpse of perfection, but it's only a glimpse. We cannot see into the future or comprehend everything, especially with what's going on in the world right now. So what do I do with that? It's faith. Faith. There is such a huge difference between fake it till you make it optimism and faith. Faith is deep down knowing and confidence. It's hope over all the hype. Every season has a beginning and an end. And I know that we will get through this. Now, we may look a little bit different on the other side of it, but I absolutely believe that God will get us through. These videos have sparked something that I really was not expecting, and it's been pretty awesome. I want to say thank you again to those of you who have reached out to me. Your encouragement has meant so much. The comment section is always open. Feel free to share something, what you're seeing or what you're dealing with where you are. Let me and others know how we can be praying for you we're celebrating with you. My hope is that these videos are something that actually brings more of us together. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you his peace at all times and in every situation. I'll see you in the next one.